Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, poly and uh, circuit breakers, specifically the circuit breakers. I have done some other videos on other policies in poly for resilience. So you should consider watching them before uh, seeing the circuit breaker policy because I do uh, not repeat concepts that I've already talked in that. Uh, so essentially uh, we can hit a JSON placeholder type API and we get this result. And if we put in a wrong URL, we usually get HTTP status not found. So let's just take a look at the starter code here. This is the endpoint. We have an HTTP client. Uh, we will set up a circuit breaker policy which is not filled in yet and we will do it together so you can see how to set it up and uh, uh, we'll set up the policy in this setup function. So if you look at uh, our main function, uh, I'm going to uh, call the setup and then uh, for five times go through the loop. I sleep for about three seconds before calling the fetch function and if there is an exception we change the foreground color to red, uh, log the message and change the color back to normal white for the console uh, and then we change the endpoint to have the correct value so that if we call the endpoint after the first exception uh, we'll get a uh, good uh, code from the endpoint. So uh, to quickly take a look at the fetch function it's pretty straightforward it's calling HTTP client async on the endpoint if the status code is success it will uh, print uh, the title uh, in green otherwise it says HTTP status code not found. So if you just want to quickly see how this uh, runs let me just run it. Uh, just as a reminder right now it is uh, set up uh, for an endpoint which will basically return HTTP status code not found. So you can see that it is coming through and it will do this essentially uh, five times because we're going through the loop five times. So while, uh, so this should be uh, what this current starter code is. So let's uh, now uh, start adding the circuit breaker policy and I will explain uh, to you as uh, we go along. So to add the uh, circuit breaker policy, I'm going to copy some code uh, from here, which I've already written. And uh, I will explain what it is. Okay, so let's just uh, quickly uh, return, uh, see what the how to set up the circuit breaker policy. We will be referring to the poly package and uh, specifically we are doing something uh, whenever the response code is not success we are hitting our circuit breaker uh, async and we are saying that uh, once uh, we do not get a good status for two times the circuit breaker policy would uh, start to hit and uh, then we also specify a time span uh, for which the circuit will be open. So you can think of it a circuit as electricity flowing. When the circuit is closed, everything is all uh, uh, fine and dandy. But when the circuit is open, nothing can flow through it. So here in this case, you can think through that the no request can go through. So when the circuit is open, uh, essentially uh, uh, breaks it will uh, go into the on break uh, function and in on break function we are just uh, accessing the policy and logging the circuit state on reset we are doing the same thing uh, we can manually reset the circuit breaker to be closed but uh, we will not do that here but this is just an example of you can see so on half open is uh, when the circuit is open and uh, when the conditions are true that the time span of this much has passed the circuit will change its state or the policy will change its state to what is called half open. So we'll go into the half open state and we will log this information in yellow color. So you can kind of see if it is half open and then we will reset the color. And after it's half open, uh, we will reset the circuit breaker. So that way it, it is uh, back to the closed state and things can follow through. So one quick example, as you can see that uh, in, in, in our case, when we get an exception, we are going to correct the endpoint back to what is uh, a good so we can see our HTTP request go through. So let uh, so that is about setting it up. Let me just quickly change this to use the circuit breaker policy instead of just calling the uh, HTTP client directly. And uh, that should be pretty straightforward as well. So what we're going to do is, uh, Instead of this, we are going to call a function called make HTTP call with a breaker policy. 
and uh, the function is very straightforward now it is uh, essentially going to log a message let me just uh, format this document so what it is going to do is uh, log an uh, http make an http call log a message uh, about the endpoint we are hitting and the circuit state and then it just calls http uh, client get async so that's pretty much it so now let us uh, run this code and uh, we can see how uh, what it does now so while this is going on i will also explain as to uh, what uh, what it does so as you can see it made an http call to this endpoint uh, post a1 but since it is not accessible uh, and the breaker state is initially closed that means the circuit electricity can flow through the circuit or you can make request through the circuit and if you can see this if you go to this endpoint for example you can see it is returning uh, http status not found if i go into the network and i click on it again you can see the status is not found so that's why uh, it is like this so uh, circuit was closed and we said it will be two times and the reason it is two times is if you can uh, look in our policy setup we gave a parameter of two times so after this is two times uh, the it hit the break uh, method break and then we uh, log a message saying break state is open and then uh, the http status uh, was not found where we are going to be printing it and then is, there is an exception which is thrown the circuit is now open and is not allowing calls so we come to our exception here where it is not allowing any calls exception message is being printed so what we do is we change the endpoint to this and then we will hit what is called the half open because uh, we have changed the state and the time has passed like the five seconds have passed and the reason you see the five second is because of the way we set up the policy so here you can see the second parameter is set up for five seconds so after five seconds is going to go into on half open and when we go into on half open we are printing this information in yellow and we are also setting up the breaker policy is being reset so it won't throw exceptions or it won't stay in the half open state so now if we do it we, do, we, we can uh, start making calls and we get the actual results and you can see the calls are returning good because this is a good endpoint so that's pretty much how you can use a circuit breaker uh, with http and I will add this information to CSAR HTTP circuit breaker with Poly. Thanks for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.